you ask yourself questions like, or you ask questions of the silence. Where have you gone? What, where do I look for you? Where, what does it mean? Like all that time we shared, all the arguments we had, all the joy, all the trouble, all the memories. And then it's just utter silence. It's, it's interesting and sad. And you know, this week I've had one of the most social weeks for a long, long time. We're lucky in Sydney compared to Melbourne, say, for the, this COVID. And, had a beautiful dinner with my daughter on Wednesday. He cried. He opened up and we were honest with each other. I had took my doggy over to a couple of to my mate's place and had a few beers with the dog and my mates and good old chat. And it was like we hadn't had any conflicts or difficulties with our relationship for all. A while which we have but yeah it's just amazing how your very best friends you just slip back into that friendship Friday night I was gonna have a nice quiet one catch up with paperwork but a mate rang out and brought his son over and we watched the footy and had a couple of beers and had a good chat and also you know, some of the most amazing people that I talk to in other different ways and that have been there for me in the last six months. Amazing. And then, you know, you can have one little word, one little harsh word from someone and all of a sudden the anxiety of the sense of being on your own comes back and you're asking the ghosts questions and asking what it all means um, and you have a retros a day of melancholy a day of trying to work through the grief again which comes up and up and up and up uh, and the thing is the ghosts don't answer back they're there but they can't or they won't answer back. And the whole idea of having comfort in some sort of spirituality or religion kind of gets lost in the reality of the silence. And I think that's when the grief bubbles up and overwhelms you. Um, so I still keep asking the questions because it all has to kind of mean something. And, and I think it gets to the heart of us as humans when somebody you love very much disappears from your life. Try to make sense of your own life. And I don't have any suicidal thoughts or anything like that. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get rid of ego to a certain extent, but my ego is, I guess, healthy enough not to want to give everything away or my sense of the wonders of life is still so strong that I'm not about to throw that away or throw the opportunity of all the incredible things that can still happen in my life. I'm not about to throw that away, but um, certainly I'm sure it confronts you with the reality of your own mortality when you lose your wife or spouse. And I, I couldn't have believed how hard it, it's been to get through that. And I can see why people die of illnesses. And, you know, if they've been living with their wife for 
or their their husband for 60 years and they suddenly lose them and it's not just the chatting and the company it's the practical things that the your other partner your partner did and it's it is a true emptiness and i can see why people get really sick and suffer a lot and i i can only thank my circumstances that i've had so much incredible support and i appreciate people that have been very positive and very helpful to me so ghosts out there wherever you are whatever it means you know i sometimes feel it you know in the trees of an evening when you're walking with the dog and it's eerie and misty and you kind of feel the other world and I know that the part, the part of that is, is imagination but I think touching the real true depths of meaning of what life's all about is found in those kind of little magical moments we shouldn't ignore them so I'm hoping I'm hoping that the ghosts are not afraid to say hello sometimes. And the memories stay positive, I'm sure they always will. And that I'm here for people who need support in similar situations. And I think those sort of events do help you become more adept at helping people through their own crises and part, that's part of what being a really mature human is about is being able to recognize and not abandon people when they need your help anyway enough about my ghosts talk to you later